Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna and today is the best day of my life because I am here with you guys and welcome to part three of my Silk Press series. Now, if you missed part one and part two, just go back. Just go back because you can't watch this without watching that. So make sure that you guys tune into those first before you watch part three. So if you're interested in seeing this press and seeing what to do and what not to do, then just keep on watching. Did y'all see that freshly blow dried hair in part two? If not, let me give you a little reminder. Honey, that blow dry is just too good. It's too good, y'all. It's so satisfying seeing your hair so silky and straight without even pressing it. Some people are okay with going for this look, but I like to seal the deal with the press. All the products mentioned in part two, I did use those on wet hair, but one of the products I did say that after you're done blow drying, you can use this product if you feel you need it. That is the two-in-one heat defense shine and mist from Olive Oil. If you have any type of heat mist, heat protectant, or anything like that that you wanna add on top if your hair isn't shiny or giving you what you need already, then you can go in with this. But like I stated in part two, do not use this directly on the hair. Spray it on your hands first, rub it in together, and distribute evenly. Please be careful. If it's this product, even if it's another product, oil-based products, please be careful when it comes to heat protecting because it will weigh your hair down and all of that hard work will be in vain. And we don't want that. But for me and my crew, I'm typically done with the heat protectants after I've blow dried my hair. I prep my hair really, really good so that it looks good and my hair is protected. But sometimes if I feel the need to go in with a little bit extra, my OG favorite is the Silk Elements heat protectant. I'll put it up on the screen because I've ran slam out, but this is my favorite, all time favorite, OG favorite heat protectant. This is an oil-based mist, but it's very lightweight. It smells so good, and it always leaves me with such a flawless finish. You can get it at Sally's Beauty. It's very affordable, and it's such a great product. Actually, the entire Silk Elements line is amazing, but we'll leave that for another video, or if you haven't saw me use Silk Elements before, I'll leave it up in the cards. So if you guys don't know, I am a licensed cosmetologist and in hair school, we got babyless flat irons. These are the top of the line flat irons, so great. The press is immaculate and it's just an amazing flat iron that professionals use. I would use it in hair school and I'm always like, I can never use this on my hair. It's just so strong, it's such a strong flat iron, it's such a good flat iron. Like, I'll just use it to press weave. I don't wanna damage my hair. I don't wanna mess my hair up. But what I've come to realize is why would I spend a hundred and something dollars on a flat iron and not use it on my hair and only on weave? That just doesn't make sense. Babyless is expensive and it's such a good flat iron and people know that and that's why they pay the price and that's also why I can use it on my real hair. After getting over the fear of using that flat iron, I crunked that baby up to 375 and I got right to work. The Babyless flat iron heats up very quickly and the heat is evenly distributed and I absolutely love that flat iron. I cannot stress this enough, you guys. 375 is all I need if I follow all the previous steps correctly and my hair is really prepped. I just go in with an even slow glide and it gets me silked out every single time. I have clients that are like, I can never straighten my hair the way you straighten it. Or I can never straighten my weave the way you straighten it. It's that baby list. You never wanna hold this flat iron onto one piece of hair for too long. You wanna keep it moving, never stop. Like I said, for my natural babes or for my relaxed babes with texture, you can definitely hit the roots a couple times and then the ends you just wanna glide down really slow. This literally works like a charm every single time, you guys. I get the perfect results, and whether you want a little bump, whether you want it pinned straight, however you want it, you can achieve this look with this flat iron, and it's gonna put the press in the silk. So for my ladies that still like to add a little one-two, a little shine, 
after pressing the hair you want to go in with a silk serum make sure that a silk serum is what you're using silk serums are just silk it's just the name if you put it on your hand it'll glide and it's not oily it's silky and there's a difference one of my favorite glossing polishes is from proclaim you can get this at sally's beauty it eliminates frizz and add shine I love using a little bit of this product because it does not weigh my hair down, but it still adds a shine. And that's super important when you want to upkeep your silk press or just right after you get your silk press, you wanna use products that will not weigh it down. But you cannot use a lot of this. A little goes a long way with this product. So just use a dime size, distribute it on your hands and then distribute it throughout your hair. Again, another silk serum that I love is from The Dollhouse. This is really good as well. Such a great silk serum, you guys. You can really tell the difference between a regular oil and a silk serum because a silk serum feels like silk. It's kind of like you can just still feel it. Like it just sits there. And you want something that's going to sit there. Sit on top of your hair and add a shine. And that's what it literally does to your finger. It sits on top of your finger and adds a shine. I honestly don't know how to explain that better than that, but I hope you guys get it. Last but not least, I love the Super Skinny Serum from Paul Mitchell. Got this from Ulta and this is that girl. A lot of people use the Super Silky Serum because like I said, it's lightweight and it just sits on top of your hair and gives you that shine without weighing your hair down. But the difference between a silk serum and an oil, honey, is if you put that silk serum on your hair and proceed to flat iron it, your hair is gonna burn off. I tried it one time, and please don't ask me why I tried it, but this is why I'm coming to y'all, because I'm telling y'all to learn from my mistakes. I put some silk serum on my hair and I proceed to flat iron my hair, and baby, that thing burnt right off. What you have to remember in this process is that your hair is not bulletproof. You have human real hair. It burns. These products are set into place to protect your hair from heat, also to help the over appearance of your hair. But silk serums are a finishing product. It's not a product that you use when you're in the process. It's a finishing product, simply that. Do not go back in with any type of heat styling tools when you are using a silk serum. Even if you read the directions on this silk ser skinny serum, it says that you can apply this to damp hair and then style as desired. I'm not sure if they're saying like heat styling, but this is flammable and it says it on the packaging. So for me and my crew, we're not using this with any heat tools. We're using this as a finishing product only. So after completing all these steps, you should have the world's beautiful, most wonderful silk press. And I really, really, really hope that these videos, this three part series helped you and gave you some more insight on what you may be doing wrong and what you can fix in the future or what you've actually been doing right. This has taken me a while to get down to a science, but baby, can't nobody tell me about my silk press. So as the spring weather comes in and it gets a little hot outside, but also still is cool, I hope you ladies can rock those silk presses and have them blowing in the wind, weightless and beautiful. Comment down below and let me know how you guys like this series and if you guys want another series on something else. I love your feedback. It really helps me determine what type of videos to make and what type of videos you guys need. So definitely comment down below. It'll be so helpful. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all so much. Remember, do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you guys in the next video.